Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to silence your Mr. Coffee coffee maker. It has that annoying beep that goes off when the coffee finishes brewing and if you have it set on a timer it could wake up everyone in your house. So today we're going to fix that. First things first, do this at your own risk. You don't want to break the coffee maker, you will be ripping open the guts, so do it at your own risk. Um, I want to go ahead and get the carafe out of the machine and set that aside somewhere. Make sure the machine is also unplugged from any power source before you start doing this. Uh, remove the basket from the top and then you can get started. Step one is going to be to remove these tiny black plastic screw caps. There's six of them. They're right on the top of the machine just inside and it's really tough to get these things to come out. I'm using a razor blade. You need something sharp, something thin that can get in there in between the sides and pull it out. It's really tough to do. Um, and once these things come out, they can go flying across the room. So when you get it out, that's what it looks like. It's just a small black piece of plastic. Um, so put that aside somewhere and you can work on getting the rest of them out. I went ahead and sped this up because it could take you a while. This is the most difficult part of the task. Once you get them all out, the next thing you want to do is detach the lid of the coffee maker from a small plastic latch. The latch is in the back corner and you can just pull it out with brute force kind of. It comes off fairly easily, just pops right off. Just like that. Now you're gonna to wanna to remove the six screws that are on the top of the machine. You can do this with your standard Phillips head screwdriver. They're just tiny screws like that. You're going to need to get all six of them out of there so you can remove the top of the machine. The top should just come off easily like that. It usually comes off with the tubing in there and you just set that aside for later. Step four, you're gonna to wanna to remove these tiny screws from inside the machine. Take a look, you can see them there behind the electric wiring. There are five of them on the middle interior face and then two on each side. So you're gonna to wanna to remove all of them now you probably could get away with just doing the five on the interior face, but I removed them all to give me a little bit more leverage when I'm uh, pulling the face of the machine off. And you'll see why in a minute. I'm using um, an electronic screwdriver kit here with a flex extender and a Phillips head attachment that makes getting to these screws really easy. Um, you could probably could do it if you had a small screwdriver, but it's it's difficult to get down in there So if you have one of these screwdrivers with a flex attachment That's going to be your best bet to help you get these screws out of there quickly You can see you just add a little pressure and then turn from the top and those screws should just come right out
All right, now that you removed all the screws, the next part of the task is gonna be to remove this digital face. The front of the coffee machine should be able to pull away just slightly now, but where you really wanna get is that behind this clock face. So pull that out gently. There's a little putty where the electric wiring goes in and that should break away as you're pulling it down. You can see it there at the bottom. And there are four screws on the back of the circuit board with a little piece of plastic covering the circuit board. You're gonna to wanna to remove those four screws. Now you can pull the circuit board away from the face. Try to keep that little piece of plastic on the back there. And now here it is, the speaker. This is what you've been looking for, this small black circle with the red coil in the center. That's the source of your problems and that's what you wanna remove. Um, I just have a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm gonna grip it firmly um, hold on to the circuit gently and pull it off. There are two pins that connect it to the board and it will gently just pull off. And you can pull the speaker off without damaging anything else on the board. There it goes. That's what it looks like. It's very tiny, but it's very loud. And now that it's gone, you don't have to worry about that beeping anymore. All that's left to do is to reassemble the coffee maker the same way you took it apart, plug it back in, and you should be good to go with no beeping. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this video has been helpful and enjoy that coffee.